Strumming the guitar is primarily a rhythm-based skill. The most important thing that you need to do is focus on sticking to the beat and keeping a consistent up-down motion. So that's the key to strumming. The strumming arm never stops. It's always going. The elbow acts as a pendulum, keeping the arm moving up and down at a steady rate. Not too wide, just a small movement. The wrist is relaxed with a rotational and side-to-side -side motion that emphasizes the swinging of the elbow. Try to keep everything relaxed, the up-down motion consistent. When you start a down strum, your wrist should be rotated slightly away so that the pick leans forward over the strings and doesn't dig in if it were to be right up flat against it. This makes for smoother strums and helps you to hold your grip as well. So starting from the top, angle down slightly, and then the motion from the wrist accelerates the pick over the strings. We're doing this air strumming now, down, up, down, up, nice and steady. Now every other down, let's add a strum. Ready? Strum, down, up, strum, down, up, strum, down, up, strum, down, up, strum. Your fretting fingers, just drape them over the strings so it mutes them. And you don't want it to be too loud, but it should be a a consistent percussive tone. Down, strum, down, up, strum, down, up, strum. Just keep going, practicing that, focusing on the movement of the arm. Is my hand and wrist relaxed? How's my pick grip? Keeping it nice and even. See, there's very little forearm movement. Most of the pick motion is generated by the wrist. So this here is a bar or a measure and simplifying the time signature on the left, that's the 4 over 4, tells us that we have 4 beats per bar. So we count that 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This note is a whole note and it lasts the whole 4 beats. So I'm going to turn the metronome on, 80 beats per minute, and we're going to start playing whole notes. So ready? 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Really trying to hit that one in time with the metronome. So playing along with me, I'm playing an E major by the way. So now we're going to try half notes. They last half as long, so that's two beats. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, focusing on staying in time with the metronome. Quarter notes now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So keep practicing the quarter notes, aiming for a consistent tone and volume, a relaxed strumming hand, and staying in time with the metronome. Starting at 80 BPM with the metronome, try strumming two bars of whole notes, then two bars of half notes, and then two bars of quarter notes. Whole notes, two bars, half notes. Quarter notes. And start again, whole notes. Keeping the hand moving even when it's not strumming. So keep practicing that, really focusing on trying to match the strums to the metronome and with a nice even tone 
add volume. So now we're going to start adding an up strum. And the good news is you're already doing most of the work because it's already there in the strumming motion. You just need to engage with the strings on the way up. When you start your up strum, your wrist should be rotated slightly the other way so the pick leans backwards over the strings. That is, it's not digging in, but rather leaning over the top a little bit. Okay, so let's start our air strumming motion again. And every second up, this time we're going to strum. So, up, up, up. So keep going. When you're strumming up, you don't need to hit every string on the way up. Just focus on the top three or four at the moment. Remember, slight elbow movement and the wrist is what accelerates the pick over the strings. Metronome at 80 BPM again. This time we're going to divide it into eighth notes. And we count that one and two and three and four and. So we're going to practice the following rhythm and it goes like this. Down, 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 up, down. So ready? Staying in time with the metronome. Let's get our air strumming moving. Now go down, down, down. Down, up, down. Remember, up strums, you're not trying to hit every string. So now we're going to start adding an up strum every second up. Ready? Down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Keep going. Divided into 16th notes, that's counted like 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a... So one more pattern. This one goes down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Trying to match the beat. Relax the strumming arm. So keep going, keeping a relaxed arm and pick grip. Don't worry if your pick is slipping. Keep at it and eventually it'll take care of itself. Again, really focusing on matching the strums to the downbeat and keeping everything in between steady and rhythmic. So let's practice our up strums with eighth notes. So metronome on again at 80 beats per minute. And the, the rhythm we're going to play goes down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. So playing with me, keeping your strumming arm going. Start all muted like this, and then you can try adding a chord. Remember up strums, you're not hitting every string. So when you're strumming, you really want to try and lock into a groove and that really means getting your whole body involved. So we're going to be practicing tapping our foot and grooving out while we strum. The strumming pattern we'll be playing is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, like this. Ready? Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So let's get the metronome going. Let's try 90. Ready? Down. Down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. So 
feeling the beat, now start tapping your foot, every beat. I'd recommend using the leg of the non-guitar foot, but play around tapping with your heel, tapping with your toe, see what's good. So let's keep going. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So I'm tapping my foot to every beat. I'm also moving my body a little bit. And because the guitar is anchored to me, it's secure and I can keep strumming in time with the beat. Keep practicing, really focusing on locking in. So by now, you should be able to play basically any strumming rhythm. The core strumming motion never changes, only when the strings are played. So make sure, practice with the metronome, make sure you're tapping your foot, maybe nodding your head a little bit, just kind of lock into a groove. So this will all help develop your sense of timing and rhythm, and you will also probably become a better dancer as well, without even trying. Uh, no guarantees though. So keep practicing this rhythmic strumming pattern to the metronome, making sure that you're tapping your foot and locking into the groove. So that's down, down, up, up, down, up, down. And when you become comfortable with that, start making up your own strumming patterns. So playing with the metronome at 100 beats per minute, I'm going to try coming up with a few different strumming patterns, just to illustrate. Strumming arm, motion never stops. Three, four. So that was just an example. Play around with it, but make sure that you're staying in time with the metronome and you're not losing your groove. 